Hi, in this screencast, I'll demonstrate a new feature of Toolboard we launched at our new version, December 2020. Toolboard is a business intelligence suite, and uh, this new feature we call as Data Discovery Matrix. Initially, I will show uh, the concept, what a Data Discovery Matrix is, then I will show uh, the configuration of how we do that then explain the uh, dashlets that are created and the dashboard as a whole and how we may, you may use it with filters okay let's start firstly this data discovery matrix is the tool in which uh, you may use one configuration screen in data view of two board and you may select the dimensions that are numerical values and me uh, sorry, measures that are numerical values plus dimensions that are group category categorical values and dates and mix them in, a, in one dashboard in which you can understand the relations, correlations between data, data fields. So, this is a investigation of data on base price in euro, fuel consumption, injection type, and data set, data set is from BMW models from start to the end, like 50 years of all BMW models. So it comprises also power and torque. This, uh, this representation is created in the view screen of toolboard by that button and when you click that button you will see the configuration screen of how it's created in this screen you can you can select the measures and dimensions like even it even it uh, it has four uh, lights in euro curve weighting programs etc there are many details of BMW models. You can add the filters. There are auto create scattered dash sets and on those dash sets you may want to add more data points to make it more visible. You can select the correlation coefficient. If you want to know more about correlation, you can learn more here by clicking that button. Correlation shows the um, relation between cor correlation between the measures it's like one measure is increasing the other measure and this means the other measure also increasing or decreasing like uh, your turnover with your price and you may expect a correlation between those values but you may expect different correlations between uh, between different regions I will, I will go into that that in the PMW data you can dissect the uh, dashboard by a dimension like I did uh, by the eng engine type, diesel engine, or auto engine, or electric cars, hybrid or plug-in cars. You can select more uh, uh, configuration here, and then when you click change existing dashboard, if you change something, it will be changed, or you can go to ex correlation uh, existing data discovery matrix, which is that. On the top, top left part, you will see the uh, the measure, the first measure you selected, versus first measure itself. This is something versus something matrix. This is a matrix. So it's a symmetrical matrix. So you may see the full consumption versus base price here, and base price versus full consumption here. So it's a scatter. It's a correlation. In this uh, in this part, that means the diagonal part of the matrix means the measure versus measure and dimension versus itself. So measure versus measure produces a histogram. This histogram is the number of items, uh, number of models that are in this range, uh, in this price range. So in diesel models typically have similar prices, whereas auto models are on the left part. And plug-in models also are 
similar price, but somehow more expensive than the uh, diesel models. This shows that this is the uh, auto-created histogram. Each of the, those are created uh, auto-created auto histogram. So, for example, diesel models are pro ex consuming less fuel. You will see expected diesel and less fuel. So, automatic these are these are used using the petroleum. So, this is the uh, diesel motor. So, using less fuel. It shows that. For example. Uh, you may see dimension versus dimension, number of samples, number of models. Most models are common rail in injection type. Second X, uh, these are German terms. Einspitzung, etc. So, uh, this is the diagonal. Let's skip to this correlation. It says something in correlation and it's minus. Uh, there is a minus relationship between fuel consumption and base price if it's plug in hybrid. So, if you pay, uh, if you, uh, if it's cheaper, that means on the uh, on the right uh, left side, it will uh, use more. Full consumption, but what, what's the full consumption for an electrical car? Probably it's not oil or something else, but uh, it's not natural to me. So let's, for example, start with doing a filtering 2018 because uh, it changed, many things are changing, it seems, uh, recently on hybrid models. As you see, this is, a, this is plus now. But it's more plus for diesel. And for Otto, the relationship is not that uh, strong. Uh, in for diesel, uh, there's a strong relationship. And for diesel, it's, uh, the upper curve you can see, the, not the, the line you can see because it's a linear, curve, linear um, regression line. So. You can select and change filters, do more, and um, for example, let's see, skip to this part, power versus price, and it seems if it's powerful, it's expensive, it's less powerful, it's less expensive, except for those two, this is a problem. When I hover over this, it seems there is only two months of mod uh, There is a model, probably wrongly priced, and uh, it's alive for just two months because I added those in the scatter scatter data cell here. I may check also here, but I may click that to expand and see more. Also, we have um, uh, if it's one uh, measure versus a dimension, it will produce a two dimensional column chart. And uh, if it's one, one dimension versus a measure, it also produces a box plot. What's the box plot? The box plot shows the distribution of data. And for box plots, uh, we are using, we are not depending, dependent on uh, the uh, database management system. We are doing it in Python, so uh, you can also do any kind of correlation in any database to, to see results. We get the sampling, we do that on, uh, on our data science machine, which, uh, which is built in the toolboard core engine. So, these are other uh, other samples. For example, torque, torque versus power. There is high correlation if it's diesel or auto, not diesel, I mean it's, but a less, less correlation. There is a correlation, but less than the, uh, if, it's, if it dies by, by diesel or auto. 
you can see the same thing, same phenomenon here. If it's diesel, power horsepower and torque, it's highly correlated. If it's not torque, also. But if it's not diesel or not torque, the overall set is less. That means the overall set is all the colors. There is also a line here for all colors, but less correlated. So it tells more. It tells more than uh, what you can achieve within a few minutes, but you can do that with toolboard with one click here and or just selecting the fields. This is another new feature we implemented and we are eager to discuss how this data discovery matrix makes, makes interesting patterns within your data visible for you. Thank you for listening.